OK, I'm not going to spend a ton of time on this, but I did want to briefly play a clip for you that has gone completely viral. Some of you might remember the film Passion of the Christ. I didn't see the film. I just don't care. Uh, Passion of the Christ was this movie where I actually don't remember whether Mel Gibson's anti-Semitic incident with California police happened before or after his production or direction of Passion of the Christ. But Passion of the Christ combined with um, the anti-Semitic police incident with Mel Gibson sort of told us, wow, Mel Gibson's really off the deep end. Um, the actor in Passion of the Christ was right winger Jim Caviezel. Jim Caviezel appeared at a QAnon conference over the weekend and appeared to have a complete meltdown going into another planet. Um, Jim Caviezel emulates Braveheart speech to cheering crowd at QAnon convention, reports Newsweek. Uh, the Passion of the Christ star Jim Caviezel evoked Mel Gibson's famous battle cry from the movie Braveheart during a speech at a QAnon convention in Las Vegas, Nevada. Caviezel 53 made reference to the 1995 film during a speech at the For God and Country Patriot Double Down Convention. Doesn't that sound like a fun family friendly event? The actor repeated word for word the famous battle cry William Wallace gave to Scottish soldiers ahead of their do or die battle against the English. He then added, we must fight for authentic freedom. It underpinned a speech that mentioned child sex trafficking, an issue at the core of QAnon conspiracies, as well as a fight against Satan and liberal values. Uh, let's take a look at the video. I would get the kids out of the room for this one. Here's Jim Caviezel appearing to lose his mind. Will you fight? This man says, no, we'll run and we'll live. Yep, fight and you may die. Run and you'll live for at least a while. And dying in your beds many years from now, would you have been willing to trade all the years from this day to that for one chance? This is a very sick person. Just one chance to come back here and tell our enemies that you can take our lives. That you can never take our freedom. Every man dies. Not every man truly lives. You, 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 we must fight for that authentic freedom. Is he also doing like a slight Scottish accent in on top of uh, like this is crazy. And live, my friends. By God, we must live. And with the Holy Spirit as your shield and Christ as your sword, may you join St. Michael and all the angels in defending God and sending Lucifer and his henchmen straight right back to hell where they belong. I thought he said Guccifer. I thought it was, this was a different speech for a moment. Reminder, this is the for God and country Patriot double down Q event in Vegas this weekend. We are headed into the storm of all storms. Yes. The storm is upon us. Yeah. But not without Jesus, our rudder. And in the words of Reagan, Evil is powerless if the good are unafraid. God bless you. So that's getting a standing ovation. That's considered good by a contingent of the American population. That number one would raise questions about a psyche val uh, in most contexts. Number one. Number two. The world sees this and says, what the hell is wrong in the United States right now? Um, it is a level of wackiness and fanaticism. And um, I, I, I I'm, I'm kind of at a loss for words, actually. Um, and it is a really just kind of scary time. Um, a little more from the summary. Caviezel ended his nearly 20 minute long speech by using a term that features prominently in QAnon lore. And you, you, we just heard that we are headed into the storm of all storms. Yes, the storm is upon us. Um, QAnon followers share a belief that former President Trump would order mass arrests of members of elite cabal in a day called the storm. It didn't happen. 
They baselessly believe a satanic cannibalistic cabal made up of celebrities, Democrat politicians and government officials is involved in a global child sex trafficking ring. Um, oh, this is funny. Caviz funny. It's horrifying, but funny. Caviezel previously pushed the QAnon conspiracy that a chemical compound called adrenochrome is being harvested from trafficked children. In April, Caviezel told conspiracy we should call them conspiracy delusionists at a conference in Oklahoma about the untrue conspiracy while speaking about his upcoming movie Sound of Freedom. The movie is based on the life of self-described anti-human trafficking activist Timothy Ballard. Caviezel said when you are scared, you produce adrenaline. If you're an athlete, you get in the fourth quarter, you have adrenaline that comes out of you. If a child knows he's going to die, his body will secrete this adrenaline. They have a lot of terms that they use that he takes me through. It's the worst horror I've ever seen. The screaming alone, even if I never, ever saw it, it's beyond. And these people that do it, there will be no mercy for them. Um, really, really crazy stuff. Let's just very quickly look at just a little bit of that uh, adrenochrome. I think this is the key moment. You said you said a word a minute ago, and I, I want to clarify what that word was, because you said a word. Yeah. And yeah. I want to make sure that you said adrenochrome. Yeah. And a lot of people here, there's about 4,500 people here. There's yeah. uh, about a half million people streaming online. Sure. We're having some cyber attacks that feeds been going on and off. It's, it's a cyber. But you said that word. And by yeah. a show of hands, who's heard that word before in this building? Could you please explain to the extent that you want to or not want to what that is? Because some people have never heard that. Yeah, before. you may want to keep this a secret, Jim. And we need to discuss that. Um, essentially, you have adrenaline in your body. I'll just simplify it. And, and when you are scared, you produce adrenaline. Uh, if you're an athlete, you get in the fourth quarter, you have adrenaline that comes out of you. If a child knows he's going to die, uh, his body will uh, secrete this uh, adrenaline. Um, and they have a lot of terms that they use that he takes me through. But um, it's the worst horror I've ever seen is screaming alone, even if I never, ever, ever, ever saw it. Mm. Uh, OK, it so anyway, completely out of his mind, guys. Uh, there's Jim Caviezel, I guess, new uh, new QAnon hero. Horrible, horrible stuff. We'll take a quick break and be right back with much more today.